After leaving the panhandle of Florida and weathering Hurricane Hermini, we now travel south down the west coast, hitting lots of uh, various cities including Apalachicola, Ancloak Key, Tarpon Springs, down the west coast of Clearwater, and uh, to St. Petersburg. And from there, we head over to uh, the Manatee River to prepare for Hurricane Matthew. After enduring some pretty serious storms in the Gulf, we finally make it to the Manatee River where we prepare the boat for Hurricane Matthew that will pass just to the east of us. We're not expecting hurricane force winds, however, we are expecting tropical force winds which could, could reach 60 knots. So here as you can see I'm putting together um, the hurricane anchor which is an 85 pound mantis. It would be attached to the 300 foot of primary chain and tossed overboard. After three days of weathering Hurricane Matthew, her storm surge and her 30 knot winds, conditions finally improved. And I put the dinghy in the water and headed over to Soto State Park. place where DeSoto stepped foot in Florida. There's a monument here for him. Hello. <laughs> Sometimes referred to as the Spanish military flag, the cross of Burgundy is carried by Spain's armies in La Florida for 250 years, from 1513 to 1763. So this is the bay that we're anchored in. We're actually right in the same area where that tall ship is anchored. Really cool. The attention to detail um, at DeSoto State Park um, and the way they present the, uh, all the material here is really cool. It gives you a sense that uh, you knew exactly what was uh, going on there at that time. Um, there's many plaques and posters and uh, little huts as such as this one to kind of give you an idea of what really happened. And uh, the history um, is very well documented here. so. Uh, it's really a cool place to stop. I'm glad that uh, uh, I accidentally found this place. The uh, DeSoto Expedition Trail, I would say, stretches probably close to two miles uh, round trip. And it walks through these uh, mangroves and these covered areas. 
uh, the canopy is just beautiful here. And along the trail, you can see there's um, some cutouts of uh, some of the natives that were here that, uh, that landed here with DeSoto. And uh, it's really cool how they put all of it together. It's, it makes for a very nice experience. Um, I anchored in uh, close to the same area that uh, DeSoto did, supposedly did, off the point. And I wound up staying here two days after uh, Hurricane Matthew just because I enjoyed it so much. The areas of DeSoto State Park that, uh, that are not sandy trails um, are occupied with these wooden bridges uh, that you can walk, walk uh, through the mangroves. And uh, it's really a cool experience to see all of the, uh, the wildlife and, uh, uh, it, deep in these little mango forests. Um, really cool experience. This is DeSoto Point. Um, they built a plaque for him explaining um, basically uh, his ordeal and him uh, anchoring his ship here. And in the distance is also where I'm anchored just out there on the horizon. Unfortunately, the water was really murky and dirty just because of this hurricane that just passed and stirred up the river. Most of the river is a mud bottom, so um, now it looks like a river. Normally, it's, uh, I think, uh, it's probably pretty clear. Uh, not sure of that, but um, uh, it was still a good time. And uh, here I make my way down to the beach, get in the dinghy, and from there. Uh... From DeSoto State Park, I make my way south, 85 miles down the coast to Cayo Costa. Join us next time on our next adventure. If you like our videos, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and you can follow us on Facebook as well. Check out the link below.